Question 14. So for part A, it just means when is t equal to 0. So we just sub it in to up here. So part A is just going to be 900 over 3 plus 7 times e to the minus 0.25 times 0. So that's going to be e to the power of 0. So anything to the power of 0 is 1. So 900 over 10. So that's just going to equal 90. So nice first mark. Okay, so on B, all right then. So this is this is the juicy bit of this question. Um, so it says dn over dt. So that's telling us that we've got to differentiate this thing up here. Now, we are told, remember, in the formulae book um, about how to differentiate. And it's just going to be quotient rule. So I'm just going to quickly jot down. This is exactly what it says in the formulae book. So just quickly jot that down for you. So, um, and then we've got fx, and then all of that is over gx squared. All right, there we are. There we are. Just scrub out that mark there, so not getting confused by that. Right. Okay. So let's just fill in the information that we have so far. So let's kind of write down. So we know fx. Let's write down what gx is. So fx is just 900. And gx is the denominator. So that was 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25t. And now let's differentiate these two things. Well, that's like 0, it's nothing. And then differentiate this one. So it's just, just a little bit of chain rule. Uh, that's all we've actually got there. So that's going to give us minus 7 over 4e to the minus 2.5t. Right, now let's just piece it together like this. All right, Don't worry, it's not going to look like this yet. But let's just piece it together. So what does that actually give us? So we've got so dn over dt is going to equal... So we've got to start off with, we've got a derivative of, of function f. So that's going to be zero. So that's not going to, it's not going to come to anything, is it? So I'm going to do minus. So we've got gx and fx. So let's just go and put those two things in. So let's just write it like this. We've got 900 there. And then I'm also going to put in brackets there. We've got minus 7 over 4, which looks horrible at the moment, but don't worry, it will come out quite neatly. And then that's over. Our other part, this part, gx squared. So let's just write that down there. Just write it literally as it is, just there. Don't try and expand that or anything just for a minute. Right, okay, where do we go from here? So what we need to know at this point is we need to go back to this up here because I want to write it. Look, it's got N in it. So let's go to this and then start rearranging this, just trying to think about how we can write. Basically, we're trying to think about how we write 7e to the minus 0.25t. So Let's just think about how we rewrite this part. So let's go up here. So let's begin effectively swap these two guys around. So we could write 3 plus 7e to the minus 2.5t is going to equal 900 over n. And I could also take away 3 from both sides. So that's one useful term. See, look, look down here, look. So I'm going to rewrite the denominator. I'm going to replace that there with 900 over n squared. Now I'm going to start thinking about what I've got up here. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do just here is I, I would prefer that 4 and that minus 
not to be there. Okay, so if those two things aren't there, if I take them outside, I'm just going to have 225 at the front there. Deal with that part in a second. Well, I'll take what if I put it down here, we can have 225. And now I'm thinking, what's 7e to the minus 0.25t? Well, look, it's just going to be this take away 3. So let's write it down. Let's just go and pop it in there. So we had 900 over n take away 3. Okay, so let's. That's good. That n is going to pop up there, isn't it? Although it's going to be n squared. So let's just tidy this up a little bit. Where are we getting to? So we've got 225, and then let's put, I'm going to have n squared there. 900 over n minus 3. And now that's going to be over 900 squared. Don't worry about actually trying to do 900 squared. We, we, you, know, you can write it if you want to, it's fine. Okay, so let's now multiply these guys out and let's see where we end up here. So what's this going to give us now? So just imagine all of this being multiplied out. So we're going to have 225 times 900 and that's going to be n. And now because that n is going to cancel with the, the n squared and then we're going to take away Three times two two five n squared, and remember the whole thing's over nine hundred. Let's see if we can just cancel this down a little bit, make it a little bit nicer, just here. So I could take n outside. So let's have a look, see what factors we can take out. We can take n outside. And let's take the three times two two five out as well. 3 times 2, 2, 5. So what does that leave us inside the bracket? Well, that n's gone outside. The 2, 2, 5's gone outside. And I've taken 3. So that's going to be 300 left there. And then I've got takeaway. I've taken that outside the bracket. And, and then it's still over. Oops, I forgot a square there, didn't I? Still over 900 squared. And then that's over 900 squared. Okay, so this over 900 squared, if you do 3 times 225 over that, it's going to give you um, 1200, just there. So that gives us what we were looking for. So it's kind of quite neat, isn't it? Again, most of it is just having the confidence to go with what we know, right? Let's just approach the problems Kind of deal with them as as, as we kind of uh, as we meet them, right? Okay, so we've done part B. All right, lovely job. Right, that's nice. Right, now let's have a look at part C. So if we look at part C, it says the rate of growth is a maximum after t months. So that's the the rate of growth. Find according to the model the value of t. So what we need to do here, first of all, let's just think about the rate of growth. So that's talking about modeling looking at dn over dt. Now we know if we were trying to look at dn over dt, what we've just worked out here, if I was going to go and draw that, well it's it's uh, it's just going to be an unhappy quadratic, all right? And we can tell from this, look, it's going to go through zero. And it's also going to go through 300. Those are going to be the roots of it. So we know it's going to go through this point, this point, 0, 300. What's it going to look like? We said it's going to be an unhappy quadratic, so it's going to look like that. So the maximum point here, where the rate of growth is at its peak, will be when n is equal to 150. When n is equal to 150. Okay, so again, it you know it looks complicated. Let's just keep just going with it. Well, all we're being asked to do is to work out the time when n is 150. So let's just sub that in. Right. So we got 150 equals what have we got? We got 900 over 3 plus 7e minus 2.25t. Uh, Okay, so let's just effectively just swap these guys around. 
So that gives us 3 plus 7e minus 25t equals 900 over 150. That's uh, 6. Take away 3 from both sides. And we're nearly there. So that's going to give me 3. Divide by the 7. And I'm going to lump both sides. Um, so that's going to give me minus 25t equals 3 over 7. And then just divide that by minus two, uh, 0.25. And that's going to give you t equals 3.39. Uh, and that's going to be lunch. Right, OK. And then the last bit of the question says, according to the model, the maximum number of mice on the island is p. So state the value of p. So what's the maximum number of mice? So in other words, that is when we should know about maximum points. So that's going to be when our growth rate going to be zero. So in other words, what are the roots of this again? 300. Okay, so it's when n is equal to 300 or p as it's referring to it here.